Nikola Jokic became the proud father of 449 fellow NBA players in 2023. In the postseason, Joker's 1,632 passes ranked number one by a mile. The gap between Nikola and any non-Nuggets player in completed facilitations was 557, the same gap between the number three ranked Jimmy Butler and the number 26 ranked Dennis Schroeder. Second in total passes was Jamal Murray, who also led the number three ranked Butler by several hundred. The Nuggets' unselfishness surmounting in glory should be studied, so this video delves into how they dominated with a mix of pristine offensive flow, superstardom, and sacrificial trust. Stay tuned. Right quick, according to YouTube, just 13.3% of you are subscribed, so please subscribe, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops on both platforms. Appreciate any bit of support. Without horsing around any further, speak of the devil, Nikola Jokic is currently with his horses back in Serbia. While many across the world are spending their summer chucking up unmatchable trick shots in a game of horse, Jokic already did that throughout his all-time great 2023 playoff run. Therefore, he can fully enjoy the promotional workhorse in yours truly while he does the real work tend to his horses. Unfortunately, news just broke that one of Nikola's horses finished seventh in a race, a damn tragedy. Making the NBA a side hustle. The Joker's passing precision, once-in-a-lifetime shot-making, and heavily underrated two-way repertoire lit apart the world's top basketball league, and having just entered his prime, the kid from Sombor may be just getting started. I find it amazing how two non-Americans dominated the 2023 playoffs for the same squad on the path to a championship. The Blue Arrow is a certified Canadian assassin who can be known as not merely Bubble Murray, not merely Playoff Murray, not merely Finals Murray, but Championship Murray. Better yet, the killer from Kentucky and Jamal is well on his way to a legendary NBA career, and get this. He's already back in the Nuggets Summer League practice gym, gearing up for another go at a title. Man is not satisfied after ring number one. This 180 poster that he pulled off in the half court this year exemplifies how smoothly he transitioned his way back from a torn ACL. Determination at its finest. Leading all players in three-pointers in 2023's playoffs, Blue Arrow knocked down 59 deep-range bombs in the postseason and made just under 40% of his total threes attempted. Averaging 26.1 per night in the postseason, that was the 8th highest scoring total among players who suited up for at least 10 games. However, what proves Murray was the clear-cut second-best 2023 playoff performer, behind Jokic of course, out of anyone in the top 34 in playoff points per game, he was first in free throw percentage and was only second to Kyle Lowry in charity stripe efficiency among all players. Murray is now eligible for a clean three-year $144 million extension, and he's undoubtedly earned that money. In games with the Nuggets facing elimination, all seven of which took place in 2020, Murray is 6-1 with a scoring average of 30.7 points per game on a shooting split of nearly 50-45-90. Jamal's efficiency being that high, despite the fact that he combined to attempt 152 shots in those seven outings, shows you his ability to raise his his game to the next level under extreme adversity. Jamal can get it done from every spot on the floor with elite footwork and polished mechanics that can put defenders on their heels and then some. To develop that type of skill, look no further than Jamal's pops for training him. Roger Murray's intensely creative training methods have been duly noted in an interview with Blue Arrow and Malika Andrews. Murray couldn't stop practicing until he drained 30 free throws and was forced to hold a deep squat for 12 minutes with piping hot tea balanced on his thigh. Many on Twitter were labeling Jamal's childhood training as abuse. Roger, however, defended his methods in an interview with the Denver Post in 2017, saying, for me, it was proving to him that he could do it, that it was mind over matter. Roger got his wish of having a son in the NBA, and genuinely speaking, it's great to witness a fellow family from Ontario, Canada, see their dreams come to fruition. In terms of the message of mind over matter... Oh yeah, that's my favorite saying. That's my favorite saying. And it's a belief that allowed Murray to fight through a nasty floor burn on his shooting hand during the finals. Not many players, especially in today's game with the likes of guys sitting out entire seasons, have the pain tolerance to stay on the floor, let alone perform like Blue Arrow did with that kind of injury. 
Back to the horse nurturing phenom from Sombor though, and maybe Nikola Jokic's Maverick took the L, but for the most part, he continues to have a massive W of a calendar year. Nikola's plus 12% true shooting percentage compared to the league average would have given him the third most efficient season by a most valuable player of all time. Only problem is, Joel Embiid was named MVP. Stats aside, and unfortunately by the eye test, talking heads are still finding it tough to appreciate the Serbian. Shocking. People, especially young people, consume the game now through highlight reels, right? It's it's YouTube and it's a highlight on Twitter here and there. I don't know that there's a single Jokic highlight that you just what? sit back and go, wow, that was amazing. There's no, Bro, you know, you LeBron James, about, Michael Jordan level thing. That man was evidently not watching the playoffs, and it's quite honestly not even disrespectful at this point. It's just sad. Whether it was the six foot eleveners cross the timeline, buzzer beating, hesitation, step back, and AD's grill in the clutch, this post spin shuffle back, moving jab, one-legged lean backer again over AD, this double pass fake on the catch, one dribble space creating step back and again seemingly impossible shot over LeBron, this 5-4 ball screen where he stops with his back facing the hoop while faking the dump off to Gordon before pivoting around for the innovative 180, this beastly drop step in the post against AD and throwdown, or this I'm your daddy shove on Suns owner Matt Ishbia, if talking heads can't think of Jokic's all-time great moments from the 2023 playoffs, that is in fact their problem. Here's a fact for you that proves both how consistent Jokic really was in this year's regular season, along with how tough it was for him to be so consistent. Nikola attempted the seventh most amount of shots with zero to two feet of space between he and a defender. Out of anyone in the top 10 in terms of the most high volume contested shooters this past season, Jokic's field goal percentage was the highest by three percentage points over the second most efficient guy in Nick Claxton. Considering where Nikola's attempts come from, that's literally insane. But alas, the Nuggets wouldn't be anything without Michael Malone, who keeps Denver's unselfish ways flowing. Malone's put that in your pipe and smoke it line, joins Stephen Curry's night night as one of the most iconic phrases in postseason history. X's and O's wise, go check out why Malone's playbook is first class in either one of these three videos right here, or you can watch them all in a row. Point is, with a wise yet more than in touch captain steering the ship like Malone, the Nuggets' two superstars and supporting cast are in great hands.